Lawmakers are going to be returning to Capitol Hill today, and one of the major concerns for so many of them is what do we do about TikTok? Testimony from the company CEO last week was pretty eye-opening for some, with a new sense of urgency to ban the app or try to force the sale of the app to an American company. It's a proposal China has promised to block. National correspondent Christine Frizzell now with the very latest. One of the most popular social media apps in the world in the crosshairs on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are now doubling down on calls to ban it altogether. There's an immediate threat via TikTok from the Chinese Communist Party. Our approach. Testimony from the company's CEO activating instead of alleviating fears China could use the app to surveil Americans. I think this actually increased the likelihood that Congress will take some action. Despite that bipartisan push for action, there are real questions about whether our government should follow in the footsteps of others, like China, Russia, and Venezuela, and start to control what Americans can and can't see. It just doesn't feel right to me. Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez arguing there's little evidence to demonstrate that there is a national security threat. If we want to make a decision as significant as banning TikTok, and we believe, or someone believes, that there's really important information that the public deserves to know about why such a decision would be justified, that information should be shared with the public as well. The debate over TikTok coming on the heels of a high-profile meeting between Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping. An affront to the West, but one President Biden says may be exaggerated. I've been hearing now for the past three months about China is going to provide significant weapons to Russia, and they're going to... They've all been talking about that. They haven't yet. Doesn't mean they won't, but they haven't yet. Others in Washington sounding alarm bells about the long-term geopolitical significance of their growing alliance. For America, it matters because you now have these two powers combined uh, working against the interests of the United States of America. It's a fight between tyranny, oppression versus democracy and freedom in the West. Questions on what to do about China playing out in nearly every corner of Washington. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.